I'm Andrew Bryant, and I've spent nearly 25 years as an executive coach and C-suite advisor, and I've helped over 130 clients get into a senior leadership or C-suite role. Along the way, I've run leadership intensives and been a C-level advisor for companies across the globe, companies like Microsoft, HP, Visa, Red Hat, 3M, and Deloitte. From giving keynote speeches to audiences as large as 12,000 and being a best-selling author with two books on the topic of self-leadership as well as the new leadership playbook, I've discovered the secret sauce for you to get that big promotion. Leap into a senior leadership role as if you belong there and get into the C-level in record time. So many of my clients have spent years working hard and patiently waiting for their shot but it never came, resulting in them missing out on the ability to make a difference and be rewarded or promoted. So what is the difference that makes the difference? Since our childhoods, we've been told to follow the following model of success. Work hard, really hard, get results, and you will climb the career ladder and be rewarded, right? Get a degree, over-deliver at work, do more if you want to have more. How's that working out for you? Well, it's probably not because there's a big wall that stands in between you and climbing the career ladder to a C-suite position. There is favoritism, where those in the inner circle keep on getting the big projects and promotions. There is also office politics, where if you're not playing the game, you're sitting and watching from the sidelines, or worse, being sidelined. Then there are the big personalities, almost like school bullies, who want to overshadow you and take all the credit for themselves. You may not feel very confident. You might doubt yourself, and maybe your own personality is introverted and you fail to speak up. You don't know how to get that visibility with the right stakeholders and project your value without trying too hard to get noticed. Maybe you're posted away from the headquarters, so are just informed about all the big decisions. At times, there can be bias. Isn't this a more likely representation of the truth than the story you've been told since childhood? If you believe the old way is going to work for you, I'm sorry to break it, but maybe you're stuck. You're asleep at the wheel. So what now? How do we break this wall down and launch you into a new era of career success where you are the first choice when a senior leadership or C-level role opens up? Well, here is the C-suite accelerator model that I implement for my clients. Let's say you're driving, it's bad traffic, and a big truck is in front of you. You're slowing, inching ahead. That's possibly how your career is going right now. So the first shift we make is giving you a new self-leadership identity. Self-leadership is the practice of intentionally influencing your thinking, feeling, and actions towards your objectives. What does that mean? You can change everything if you know how to change yourself. You can't change other people, you can't change your circumstances, but if you know how to influence yourself first to be more resourceful, confident and more powerful, everything else falls into place around you. A company has hundreds of mid-level managers, a handful make it to the top. Each one of them embodies their own self-leadership. Repeat this with me. You can't lead others unless you first lead yourself. With self-leadership, we can then move into executive presence. Executive presence is the ability to project gravitas, confidence, and poise under pressure. You don't play small anymore. When you walk into a room with executive presence, people notice. They ask you for your advice, your insights. You are being given the stage to show your insight and excellence. You no longer feel scared. The difficult conversations become easy. The loud, big personalities get lost in the background and you step into your own quiet power. How would this feel? From executive presence, we then have influence capital. This is where the senior stakeholders will back you, promote you up the ranks, and see you as one of them because you know what's important to them and utilize that to gain favor. Now you have two options to consider. Option one, you can walk away from this opportunity and spend the next few days, months, maybe even years doing the hope, work and pray dance and wondering whether you could have accelerated your career rather than doing the same things and getting stuck in the same position. Or option two, you could commit to finding out more and click the button right below this presentation to book a consultation with me. What will we do together on this consultation call? 
Well, I'll ask you a few questions and to get a sense of where you are, what you're looking for, and what might be holding you back from a senior leadership or a C-suite role. And if it's a fit, I'll invite you to work with me either one-to-one -one or to join one of my group coaching cohorts. This is a no obligation call, but my time is valuable. So only book a consultation if you are committed to stop doing what's not working, start your journey into a leadership or C-suite role and continue our conversations together. I'm Andrew Bright, to your success.